here at Wired Health today to uh, select the final winners of the Sandals Health Access Challenge. It's a competition that's looking at finding the best and brightest at the year to solve health access challenges around the world. What inspires me the most is the people here who've come here to learn, to exchange and network. And I think that's the spirit we need. It's about collaboration in science. It's about how to better work together in the area of healthcare. Because partnering is clearly the way to go as we want to drive healthcare forward. I believe we need to foster young people's interest in healthcare and also tap into the potential of their, their ideas and thinking. A team of judges have spent the morning uh, meeting an incredibly inspiring group of young entrepreneurs from around the world, from Ghana, from Pakistan, from Germany, from the Philippines, from the Maldives, from South Africa. A truly incredible bunch who are attempting to use technology to bring healthcare to people in their local areas. Quite an amazing morning and uh, I got a lot more out of this than I anticipated both emotionally and professionally. Over two billion people do not have access to the right healthcare at the right time. So having medicine's one thing, but if you don't have access to a healthcare professional or access to a pharmacist, uh, then it's pretty irrelevant. It's all about ideas, it's all about moving forward, it's all about innovation, it's all about making connections and inspiring people to think about what's coming next and how do we move forward, how do we provide solutions and how do we really kind of take things to the next level when it comes to healthcare. The winners were Leben and Priscilla, they're from Ghana, their company's called Go Pharma and they're trying to connect um, people in rural areas of Ghana with, um, with chemists who can supply drugs. Mohammed and Yamin have, um, are from the Maldives. If you've got thalassemia, you need to keep personal track of your nine donors with your blood type. You need to know where they are. So they've come up with an app that can connect donors to recipients directly. It's a fantastic project. And then finally, our third winner was Joel and Andra um, from the Philippines, who developed an app to help educate people in, in a way to give CPR more effectively. They were such fantastic pitches. Guys, it was a pleasure to meet you.